Hi guys, Bill Wilroth with the Grind Waterfowl TV. Today I'd like to show you the boat that we're running uh, every day out here on the marsh. We're blessed and fortunate to be partnered up with Mud Buddy Motors and Excel Boats. And I just want to give you a quick run through on the hull setup that we did for our needs. Uh, we started with a this is an 1860. It's a long, or it's a wide boat. Most, a lot of mud boats are 54 or 48 inches. We went 60 inches uh, just to get interior room space. We're hauling a lot of gear, a lot of decoys, dogs, men. We needed the room. Uh, I was a little concerned with that uh, because you're adding haul weight, but I'm here to tell you this setup, it, it didn't slow this boat down at all. It might have sped it up a little bit. We went with a 5000 HDR fuel injected. Mud Buddy motor, uh, and it has gear down, they call it gear down, and it's just geared down for uh, big loads and hole shots, and it does everything we want it to do. Some of the things we've done to this boat, to start with, I'm a firm believer we went with a tandem axle trailer. It's a simple little thing, but we get a lot of weight in here, uh, snow, ice, loaded up with gear, uh, and the tandem axle will really smooth your ride out for you. Their trailer's really well built. I love it, there's a step there. Goes right onto these pods that I love. Uh, out in knee to waist deep water, chest deep water, there's no way, I'm almost 60 years old, I could get in and out of the boat without a pod. This thing, they're just unbelievable. That's sitting at about water level. I use the motor, can pull myself in and out. Slick as snot. We also, as you'll notice right here, we added spud pole holders, which means we can run two spud poles in this boat. Uh, it's almost eliminated anchors for us. We get in shallow water, I just drop a spud pole either in the front or the rear, or if we're trying to hold the boat in a position, you can drop one front and rear and it'll just hold your boat. We went with a wide open floor plan. There's a bunch of options you can do from Mud Buddy. They have gun boxes, uh, you can get live wells. You can change this, we went with a short, low step deck because we are going to put a blind on here. If you go with a raised deck, you can put an 11 gallon fuel tank in there. Uh, we chose to go with just portable six gallon tanks. Uh, we leave the boat in the water a lot. That way if we need to fuel, we can just grab a tank or add a tank and go. Uh, the motor, I don't know there's what I can say about this thing. It is a workhorse. Uh, we went with a quiet exhaust. There's two different exhaust systems you can get. They have a performance exhaust. I think Dave said it adds maybe four horsepower. Uh, not a lot, but some guys want a little extra speed, that might do it for you. We chose the quiet route. They've also incorporated into their motors a locking system. So as you're going down the road trailing it, your motor's not wandering around. You just simply raise it, it falls into the lock position, and there you are. You're good to go down the road. No straps, no ropes. One thing that Dave talked me into was putting the the grab bar, but what he talked me into doing is adding a trim switch onto the grab bar. Unbelievable. You know, you, you look at it when you're just looking at the boat, you don't think that's much. But when you're running this boat in shallow water like we do, it's nice to not have one hand on the motor and still being able to trim it with your other hand uh, without moving this hand around. Uh, safety feature, uh, I'll never have another one without it. It's unbelievable. The interior setup of our boat, rather than gun boxes, we put uh, two gun trays in. We, we set guns in there, we set everything in there, but it's nice, you can get stuff off the floor, but it doesn't take up much floor space. This boat did come with a cooler seat. After using it for a while, I just pulled it out. It frees the back end of the boat up and we can stack decoys back there. Just open space is what we were after and this boat gives it to us. We went with the low step deck. Beauty of this thing is when we do get the blind on it this year, there can actually be a guy that can sit up here rather than being in a raised deck, uh, or even Hank can sit here and stare out the blind. With the low step, what it also offered, great big storage area up here. We've got that full of life jackets, toolbox, anchor, torch. There's a little bit of everything in there. You can get it hid well out of sight. Also comes with LED running lights. I have them off right now. But if you have them on, literally in two minutes, a minute, you can put it on. You pull these four screws off, set it on, put the screws back down. There's a plug here, you just plug the light in, you're good to go. In a nutshell, this boat, we built big, wide, and wide open. We've got more room in here than most mud boats. 
I, I almost think this boat runs better when it has two or three guys in it than it does with just one guy in it. Uh, it's like the more weight you get in this boat, the better the boat or the hull gets up on top of the water and runs. Guys, it boils down to this. At the end of the day, I'm a hunter, just like you are. I mean, I could try to get into the structural building of this boat and why it does and performs the way it does, but I leave that to Dave and Jay Paul. They'll tell you better than me. I know this boat gets us to where we're going and gets us home every day, and that's all I want.